Prongy Audi flyways, yay! Said no one ever. If you struggle with man bun flyways and you're looking for a way to get rid of them, you are watching the right video and I want you to keep watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week. Uh, welcome to episode two of my monthly man bun series. In my first video or my first episode, I covered 10 different types of man buns. You'll be able to find that up in the cards. And essentially what this is, it's just like a monthly check-in for all of us man bun growers or man bun wearers to come in and check in about our man buns and give each other tips. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back every single month. Actually, I post every Monday, so subscribe and see me every Every Monday okay but the main topic of today is of course taming our flyaways because I know it's a pet peeve of a lot of people that have man buns and today I'm going to show you my quick method of doing it and you're probably also wondering what the f is on my face right if any of you did these are just eye patches they're actually like my new favorite thing because I work on the internet a lot and I'm always looking at a screen like I need something to help soothe my eyes down I've been using these Zeta ones they're cruelty free they're vegan and they're also medical grade so they're kind of like made of the same thing as like they make fake arteries and fake skin and yeah they just fit really nice on the face they don't slip off like the Korean ones and they're really really good I've actually noticed a difference since starting to use them so and they talk about all the ingredients that are in them and why they're good for you so they've got like aloe vera for hydrating, bit of ginger for like brightening skin. And they also contain magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is great for boosting skin collagen. So yeah, they're just a really thorough product. And I find ever since I've been using them, they've been working really well. They're easy to apply to. You just like chuck them in the fridge for 10 minutes before you put them on. Then you grab them out and then they've got like these sleeves on either side. You just whack them on your face and then kaboom, you wait like 15 minutes. Speaking of which, it's about my 15 minute mark right now that I've had these on. So I'm gonna rip them off and then we're gonna talk about man bun flyaways. And then after you like take them off, you just kind of like dab the rest of the solution in and you get on with your life. Okay, enough. Now we're on to man bun flyaways. So what do I do for these? I actually, look, I'm very simple about this. All I need is like a heat protector, obviously, because I'm going to be using a heating iron to get these like in action. And I also need some kind of product. So I always recommend like a stronghold product. Uh, I've bought, I've got three of my favorite here. I've got my Blue Man Cavalier Clay. I've got my Hybrid Cream and I've also got Claymation. You don't have to use any of these. These are like, what, $19.50 to $20 uh, online if you want to buy them. Uh, but if if you want to use a supermarket brand just make sure you get a hard hold don't get something that's flimsy like a paste because it'll just prompt let them prong out even more and certainly like the number one thing is do not use a gel people that have been following me for like a couple of years now will know that i hate gel and if you use gel on your flyways it pretty much just stiffens them and makes them prick out even more which is definitely not what you want so avoid gel at all costs hate gel. So yeah, I just need a heat protector, I need a stronghold product, I'm going to be using Cavalier clay today, and a heating iron. What we're going to do is we're actually going to like spray our heat protector on. This Sebastian Trillin one is like my favourite. It smells so good. I could wear it as perfume, it's actually the best. Um, but what I'm going to do is spray this over the top here. Because I'm in a rush, like I don't want to be straightening all my hair, but what I want to do is like kind of flatten these out and kind of neaten up the look because I just cannot go out looking like this, right? And these aren't really that long to go back into the bun. So that's why we're doing it this way. Okay, so we've added our heat protector. Our uh, hair straightener is on, which is great. And the next thing I wanted to tell you was if you're going out straight away after doing this, make sure you're already wearing the shirt that you're going out in because <laughs> if you're wearing a different shirt and then you take it off, guess what? All your man bun flyaways just prong back out and you have to do the whole process over again. So make sure you're wearing the shirt that you want to go out in, which today this is my one. And there we go. If you're wearing a button up, make sure you do it with no shirt on. And so, and the first thing you want to do, we want to, instead of taking all of our hair out, I know it seems natural to, if I'm going to be straightening my hair, I should take it all out and do it properly. But no, we're in a rush today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz my hair up and I just want the flyaways to expose themselves so I know exactly what to grab and what to straighten and get moving forward. So what I'll do is like this, <laughs> bring them all out to play, all the uglies, come on, show yourself. And we've got it like this. And then what I'll do is, because I've already put my heat protector in, I'll just go ahead and straighten all these bad boys. What you want to remember as well is try your best to get them straightened in just one go because these hairs are really, really tender. You don't want them to break off because they're actually quite important in the hair cycle. So if you watched my hair fall video the other day, we learned 
that each hair that you've got is in a different cycle. So um, the hairs that are falling out in the shower, they're really long and they've reached the end of their cycle. And as they fall out, new ones are growing. So because you've always got new hair growing, that's what these flyaways are. They're the shorter hairs. It's not particularly because they're broken um, and you actually need them. So if you pull them all out or cut them off, then you're actually doing yourself a disservice. And yeah, you've got to look after them just as much as your normal hair. I know we hate them and I know like them pronging out, oh my God, like I feel ya, I hate it too. But um, yeah, without these, uh, all of our hair fall would end up being a bald head and I don't want that. <laughs> Already looking much better. I think I'm just gonna go for like a half neat high man bun as well. I think that's the look I'm gonna be rocking tonight. Alrighty, boom. We've straightened all of our flyaways and we're already looking a ton better. Now, the thing as well is you can't completely get rid of flyaways, like obviously because of those short hairs, uh, depending on how short they are, if they're really, really short, they are just gonna stick up. But for the longer ones, like I've got a lot of long ones, um, that's what the product's supposed to help with. So yeah, if you're looking for a solution to like completely get rid of them, I don't think that's gonna be possible, but you can definitely do stuff to reduce them. So now that I've straightened all of these flyaways out, I'm actually gonna take my hair out now and just quickly do like a very brief uh, run over in the front sections here, because this on top bit is usually where they all act up. And I'll just quickly run my straightener through there. There's so much more hair since I've got my full man bun as well. So crazy. But the cool thing about the man bun as well is you can just li literally do something as quick as this and it still looks really sick. Okay, there we go. See how much smoother it's already looking? Like, that is boss. So from here, we're obviously gonna grab our product. So today I told you that I'm gonna be using the Blue Mun Cavalier Clay. Literally, you don't need that much of this as well because it's a quite thick, hard-held product. And if you use too much, your hair can look a little bit greasy. So to avoid that, you just use a little bit. That's all I really need to tame mine down. Place it on your palm. Do these ones, rub it together. The harder you rub clay together and heat it up, the easier it is to apply. And then when it cools down, it goes back into hard mode. So, whew. Once you got it heated up, you quickly apply it to all of your flyaways, like this. Yeah, looking way better. Once you've got it evenly applied, you just start making your bun. Now, your bun can like take a couple of attempts. It depends on how fussed you are with it. I'm just more concerned about getting the flyaways down and getting out that door. And then kabooz. So now I've got my bun up. I'll also do, cause it's a messy one as well. Um, sometimes the ends look a little bit like frazzled. What I'll do is I'll just chuck a couple of bobby pins in it to weight me down. I still need a couple in the back because I've got a couple of short hairs behind there. Pop them in like that. I really don't mind the look of a bobby pin though. Like it's actually all cool. And then what I'll do is with these loose bits on the man bun, I'll twist them around it and just chuck them in. You always want to double check your bun in the mirror as well. I always have this double mirror to just see how the shape is going on it. Yep, and I'm actually really happy with this one. See how much neater it's looking now compared to like when I started this video? Let's actually have a look at the before and afters. I think that'd be great. So before we had all of those prongy outs, they were all messed up, uncontrollable, dry, frizzy, horrible, disgusting. And now just after doing this, we can see a massive difference. If you have a really close look at these tiny little ones up here, if you get like microscopic close, you can see all those little ones poking out. But those are the ones that you literally just can't get rid of because those are the regenerating hairs that you actually need, <laughs> okay? Never gonna be possible to get rid of them, but it is easy to tidy your hair up and that's all you need to know. And guys, that is how I tame my man bun flyaways, especially when I'm in a rush, okay? I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, please let me know in the comment section below if you have any more man bun tips for me on controlling flyaways. I'm sure everybody wants to know about it. And also don't forget to join the Facebook group, Hairstyles in Action. I'm gonna leave a, uh, a link in the description box below for you. And that's about it. That's episode two. Also, if you have an idea for what you wanna see for man buns and you wanna see it on this series, make sure you Pop that in the comment section below as well because I'd be interested to hear about it. And I will see you next week for another video, okay? Catch you later. Goodbye.